A crown is a traditional form of head adornment, or hat, worn by monarchs as a symbol of their power and dignity. A crown is often, by extension, a symbol of the monarch's government or items endorsed by it. The word itself is used, particularly in Commonwealth countries, as an abstract name for the monarchy itself, as distinct from the individual who inhabits it. A specific type of crown is employed in heraldry under strict rules. Indeed, some monarchies never had a physical crown, just a heraldic representation, as in the constitutional kingdom of Belgium, where no coronation ever took place, the royal installation is done by a solemn oath in Parliament, wearing a military uniform, the king is not acknowledged as by divine right but assumes the only hereditary public office in the service of the law, so he in turn will swear in all members of his federal government. History Origin St. Edward's crown, used to crown English monarchs, was considered to be a holy relic, kept in the saint's shrine at Westminster Abbey and therefore not worn by monarchs at any other time. Instead, a great crown with crosses and fleurs de lis, but without arches, was a king's usual headgear at state occasions until the time of Henry V, who is depicted wearing an imperial crown of state with gold arches. Arches were a symbol of sovereignty, and by this point in history, the King of England was being celebrated as Rex in Regno Suoest Imperator and Emperor of his own domain owing obedience to no one but God, unlike some continental rulers who owed fealty to more powerful kings or the Holy Roman Emperor. Henry VII or his son and successor Henry VIII may have commissioned a more elaborate version of the state crown which is first described in detail in an inventory of royal jewels in 1521, and again in 1532, 1550, 1574 and 1597, and was included in a painting by Daniel Mittens of Charles I in 1631. The Tudor crown had more pearls and jewels than its medieval predecessor, and the center petals of each of the fleurs de lis had images of Christ, the Virgin Mary and St. George. The crown weighed 3.3 kilograms and was set with 168 pearls, 58 rubies, 28 diamonds, 19 sapphires, and 2 emeralds. Following the abolition of the monarchy and the execution of Charles I in 1649, the Tudor crown was broken up by Oliver Cromwell during the interregnum, and its valuable components were sold for £1,100. Restoration to Present Day Upon the restoration of the monarchy in 1660, a new state crown was made for Charles II by Sir Robert Viner. About ten versions of the crown have existed since the Restoration. The one made for Queen Victoria in 1838 is the basis for today's crown. Made by Rundell and Bridge in 1838 using old and new jewels, it had a crimson velvet cap with ermine border and a lining of white silk. It weighed 39.25 troy ounces and was decorated with 1,363 brilliant cut, 1,273 rose cut and 147 table cut diamonds, 277 pearls, 17 sapphires, 11 emeralds, 4 rubies, and the Black Prince's ruby. At the state opening of Parliament in 1845, the Duke of Argyle was carrying the crown before Queen Victoria when it fell off the cushion and broke. Victoria wrote in her diary, it was all crushed and squashed like a pudding that had sat down. The empty frame of Victoria's imperial state crown survives in the royal collection. A new crown was made for the coronation of George VI in 1937 by Gerard and Co. The crown was adjusted for Queen Elizabeth II's coronation in 1953 with the head size reduced and the arches lowered by 25 mm to give it a more feminine appearance. It is expected that the crown will be remade for the coronation of Charles III in May 2023, with the arches being raised to their original height and the head size being adjusted. Description 
The Imperial State Crown is 31.5 cm tall and weighs 1.06 kg, and has four fleurs de lis and four crosses patti, supporting two arches topped by a mond and cross patti. Its purple velvet cap is trimmed with ermine. The frame is made of gold, silver, and platinum, and decorated with 2,868 diamonds, 273 pearls, 17 sapphires, 11 emeralds, and 5 rubies. Notable stones are St. Edward's sapphire on the top cross, reputedly taken from the ring of Edward the Confessor when he was reinterred at Westminster Abbey in 1163, and the Black Prince's ruby on the front cross. In 1909, the 104 carat Stuart sapphire, set in the front of the crown, was moved to the back and replaced by the 317 carat Cullen and II. Below the mond hang four pearls, three of which are often said to have belonged to Queen Elizabeth I, but the association is almost certainly erroneous. Usage The crown is worn by the monarch on leaving Westminster Abbey at the end of his or her coronation. It is usually also worn at state openings of Parliament, although Elizabeth II wore a hat in March 1974, June 2017 and December 2019 after snap general elections, and in May 2021, and, in October 2019 she wore the state diadem, while the imperial state crown was carried beside her. Usually, it is taken to the Palace of Westminster under armed guard in its own carriage and placed in the robing room, where the monarch dons the robe of state and puts on the crown before giving the speech to Parliament. If a state opening occurs before a coronation, the crown is placed on a cushion beside the monarch. In 1689, one week after being proclaimed king, William III wore his crown in Parliament to pass the Crown and Parliament Recognition Act 1689. When not in use, the Imperial State Crown is on public display in the Jewel House at the Tower of London. Gallery